I trip for a living, and uh, I got to do what I got to do to survive, you know. Tuesday was the first good day Tony Dardar has had in months. It's his first time returning to the dock with a boat full of fresh shrimp. Oh, yeah, it felt good. It felt great. Great. But as the shrimp rolled off his boat, they were smaller than he thought, and there was less of it. Just down the road at Dean Blanchard's massive seafood processing plant in Grand Isle, business was terribly slow. Normally, yeah, I'd be really excited and uh, everybody would be waiting to see what the new season would bring. But if you look in back of here, all these boats are just tied up working for BP, you know. BP took all our customers away. Dean suspects just 5% of shrimpers went out at the beginning of this season. Dardar was one of the few who did. People go where the money's at. I mean, you got to go where the money's at. And the money is not here. A shrimper can bring in a couple of thousand dollars a day to keep his boat tied up at the dock and ready if BP calls to help with the cleanup. Tony worked for 24 straight hours and made. Wild gas, probably about six, seven hundred dollars. <laughs> that ain't a lot. That's because since May, the price of shrimp here has dropped from more than two dollars a pound to about a dollar fifty-five a pound. Still, there was pride at being the first back to the dock with a load of shrimp, the first to be rolled into the empty freezer that typically would already be full this time of year. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, Leeville, Louisiana.